Hi, everybody. Now, let's see, what am I doing here? So, in the last video, we're finishing up uh, specialty rivets on the inside. Here, I'm still doing a little bit of that. There's, uh, right now I'm handling the difficult area that I would mentioned in the last video about where the outer rib assembly meets the, well, basically everything. And, uh, so now that I'm done, I actually read through the plans. Uh, I cannot emphasize, overemphasize enough, reading the plans carefully. Yes, it starts to be a pain in the butt because they don't really say, okay, rivet the skins to blah, blah, blah. They, they're they very good. The plans are excellent. They mention every single part by part number in every single instruction. And that's something that you really need to, you know, because there were basically, there were two lines on one page that said, rivet the skins to the front spar. But the very next line says, you know, rivet this part of the skins to the rear spar after riveting these under rivets that you have to put your hand through. And if, if you're not reading very carefully, you'll miss it because I, I'm sitting there thinking, okay, I've riveted the back spar in. I've done all the specialty rivets on the inside. When the heck am I supposed to rivet the front spar to the, to the skins? Couldn't figure it out. I looked for it, couldn't find it. Yeah, it was right there on the same page. It was right there. It's just one quick line of. It's just a very short line. Rivet these skins and these skins to the front spars. Thankfully, the squeezer just happened to be here, and I mean barely. So the three-inch throw for that pneumatic squeezer is just long enough to handle uh, squeezing the front spar to the skins. If it were another millimeter, it would be. It, if it was another two millimeters, it would be too long. I, I, I should say, if the front skins that you can see protruding in front, the ones that wind up being the uh, leading edge, if they were a little bit longer, you wouldn't be able to fit it. So, having riveted one, now I'm doing the other. And like I'd done previously, to make sure that there's no stress in the skins uh, or unidirectional stress, what I'm doing is starting from the middle of the spars, doing sets of three rivets on each side, then flipping over, catching up those rivets, and then doing three more towards the outside, and then flipping and repeating. So after this, uh, once I get done with all these, uh, the next step is it's time to put the trailing edges on. <clears throat> and for that you need double-sided sticky tape, which I did not have at the time, and did not have until yesterday. Uh, which was, oh gosh, a week after this. I had to order it from Amazon, so uh, I was blocked. So the next video, uh, the next couple of videos will be kind of like it was before. I didn't have my bucking bar, just searching for things to do. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the next one.